A command line interface or command language interpreter (CLI), also known as command line user interface, console user interface, and character user interface (QI), is a means of interacting with a computer program where the user or client issues commands to the program in the form of successive lines of text (command lines). A program which handles the interface is called a command language interpreter or shell computing. The CLI was the primary means of interaction with most computer systems on computer terminals in the mid-1960s, and continued to be used throughout the 1970s and 1980s on OpenVMs, Unix systems and personal computer systems including MS-DOS, CP.M and Apple-DOS. The interface is usually implemented with a command line shell, which is a program that accepts commands as text input and converts commands into appropriate operating system functions. Today, many end users rarely, if ever, use command line interfaces and instead rely upon graphical user interfaces and menu-driven interactions. However, many software developers, system administrators and advanced users still rely heavily on command line interfaces to perform tasks more efficiently, configure their machine, or access programs and program features that are not available through a graphical interface. Alternatives to the command line include, but are not limited to text user interface menus, CIBMX SMIT for example, keyboard shortcuts, and various other desktop metaphors centered on the pointer, usually controlled with a mouse. Examples of this include the Windows versions 1, 2, 3, 3.1, and 3.11, an OS shell that runs in DOS, DOSHL, and Mouse Systems PowerPanel. Programs with command line interfaces are generally easier to automate via scripting. Command line interfaces for software other than operating systems include a number of programming languages such as TCL, TK, PHP, and others, as well as utilities such as the compression utility WinZip, and some FTP and SSH, Telnet clients. Topic. Comparison to graphical user interfaces Compared with a graphical user interface, a command line requires fewer system resources to implement. Since options to commands are given in a few characters in each command line, an experienced user finds the options easier to access. Automation of repetitive tasks is simplified. Most operating systems using a command line interface support some mechanism for storing frequently used sequences in a disk file. For reuse, this may extend to a scripting language that can take parameters and variable options. A command line history can be kept, allowing review or repetition of commands. A command line system may require paper or online manuals for the user's reference, although often a help option provides a concise review of the options of a command. The command line environment may not provide the graphical enhancements such as different fonts or extended edit windows found in a GUI. It may be difficult for a new user to become familiar with all the commands and options available, compared with the drop-down menus of a graphical user interface, without repeated reference to manuals. Topic. Operating system command line interfaces 
Operating system OS command line interfaces are usually distinct programs supplied with the operating system. A program that implements such a text interface is often called a command line interpreter, command processor or shell. Examples of command line interpreters include DEC's Digital Command Language (DCL) in OpenVM's and RSX11, the various Unix shells (SH, KSH, CSH, TCSH, Bash, etc.), CP, MCCP. DOS's command com, as well as the OS/2 and the Windows CMD X programs, the latter groups being based heavily on DEC's RSX11 and RSTS CLIs. Under most operating systems, it is possible to replace the default shell program with alternatives. Examples include 4DOS for DOS, 4OS2 for OS2, and 4NT or Take Command for Windows. Although the term shell is often used to describe a command line interpreter, strictly speaking a shell can be any program that constitutes the user interface, including fully graphically oriented ones. For example, the default Windows GUI is a shell program named Explorer X, as defined in the shell equals Explorer X line in the Win INI configuration file. These programs are shells, but not CLIs. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Application command line interfaces. Application programs, as opposed to operating systems, may also have command line interfaces. An application program may support none, any, or all of these three major types of command line interface mechanisms. Parameters – Most operating systems support a means to pass additional information to a program when it is launched. When a program is launched from an OS command line shell, additional text provided along with the program name is passed to the launched program. Interactive command line sessions – After launch, a program may provide an operator with an independent means to enter commands in the form of text. OS inter-process communication – Most operating systems support means of inter-process communication, for example, standard streams or named pipes. Command lines from client processes may be redirected to a CLI program by one of these methods. Some applications support only a CLI, presenting a CLI prompt to the user and acting upon command lines as they are entered. Other programs support both a CLI and a GUI. In some cases, a GUI is simply a wrapper around a separate CLI executable file. In other cases, a program may provide a CLI as an optional alternative to its GUI. CLIs and GUIs often support different functionality. For example, all features of MATLAB, a numerical analysis computer program, are available via the CLI, whereas the MATLAB GUI exposes only a subset of features. The early Sierra games, such as the first three King's Quest games (1984–1986), used commands from an internal command line to move the character around in the graphic window. History The command line interface evolved from a form of dialogue once conducted by humans over teleprinter machines, in which human operators remotely exchanged information, usually one line of text at a time. 
Early computer systems often used teleprinter machines as the means of interaction with a human operator. The computer became one end of the human-to-human -human teleprinter model. So instead of a human communicating with another human over a teleprinter, a human communicated with a computer. The mechanical teleprinter was replaced by a glass TTY, a keyboard and screen emulating the teleprinter. Smart terminals permitted additional functions, such as cursor movement over the entire screen, or local editing of data on the terminal for transmission to the computer. As the microcomputer revolution replaced the traditional, minicomputer plus terminals, time-sharing architecture, hardware terminals were replaced by terminal emulators, PC software that interpreted terminal signals sent through the PC's serial ports. These were typically used to interface an organization's new PCs with their existing mini or mainframe computers, or to connect PC to PC. Some of these PCs were running bulletin board system software. Early operating system CLIs were implemented as part of resident monitor programs, and could not easily be replaced. The first implementation of the shell as a replaceable component was part of the Multix time sharing operating system. In 1964, MIT Computation Center staff member Louis Puzin developed the RUNCOM tool for executing command scripts while allowing argument substitution. Puzin coined the term shell to describe the technique of using commands like a programming language, and wrote a paper about how to implement the idea in the Multix operating system. Puzin returned to his native France in 1965, and the first Multix shell was developed by Glenda Schroeder. The first Unix shell, the V6 shell, was developed by Ken Thompson in 1971 at Bell Labs and was modeled after Schroeder's Multix shell. The Born shell was introduced in 1977 as a replacement for the V6 shell. Although it is used as an interactive command interpreter, it was also intended as a scripting language and contains most of the features that are commonly considered to produce structured programs. The Born shell led to the development of the Corn shell (KSH), Almquist shell (Ash), and the popular Born Again shell or Bash. Early microcomputers themselves were based on a command line interface such as CP, M, DOS, or AppleSoft Basic. During the 1980s and 1990s, the introduction of the Apple Macintosh and of Microsoft Windows on PCs saw the command line interface as the primary user interface replaced by the graphical user interface. The command line remained available as an alternative user interface, often used by system administrators and other advanced users for system administration, computer programming and batch processing. In November 2006, Microsoft released version 1.0 of Windows PowerShell formerly codenamed Monad, which combined features of traditional Unix shells with their proprietary object-oriented .NET framework. Ming W and Sigwin are open-source packages for Windows that offer a Unix-like CLI. Microsoft provides MKS Inc.'s KSH implementation MKS Corn Shell for Windows through their services for Unix add-on. Since 2001, the Macintosh operating system MacOS has been based on a Unix-like operating system called Darwin. 
On these computers, users can access a Unix-like command line interface by running the terminal emulator program called Terminal Found, which is found in the Utilities subfolder of the Applications folder, or by remotely logging into the machine using SSH. Bash is the default shell for macOS, TCSH, the Corn shell, and the Z shell are also provided. Topic Usage A CLI is used whenever a large vocabulary of commands or queries, coupled with a wide or arbitrary range of options, can be entered more rapidly as text than with a pure GUI. This is typically the case with operating system command shells. CLIs are also used by systems with insufficient resources to support a graphical user interface. Some computer language systems such as Python, Forth, Lisp, RexX, and many dialects of BASIC provide an interactive command line mode to allow for rapid evaluation of code. CLIs are often used by programmers and system administrators, in engineering and scientific environments, and by technically advanced personal computer users. CLIs are also popular among people with visual disabilities, since the commands and responses can be displayed using refreshable Braille displays. Anatomy of a shell CLI The general pattern of an OS command line interface is Prompt command param 1 param 2 param 3 Param Prompt – generated by the program to provide context for the client. Command provided by the client. Commands are usually one of three classes Internal — recognized and processed by the command line interpreter itself and not dependent upon any external executable file. Included — a separate executable file generally considered part of the operating environment and always included with the OS. External — external executable files not part of the basic OS, but added by other parties for specific purposes and applications. Param1 Param — optional parameters provided by the client. The format and meaning of the parameters depends upon the command issued. In the case of included or external commands, the values of the parameters are delivered to the program specified by the command as it is launched by the OS. Parameters may be either arguments or options, in this example, the delimiters between command line elements are whitespace characters and the end of line delimiter is the newline delimiter. This is a widely used but not universal convention for command line interfaces. A CLI can generally be considered as consisting of syntax and semantics. The syntax is the grammar that all commands must follow. In the case of operating systems, DOS and Unix each define their own set of rules that all commands must follow. In the case of embedded systems, each vendor, such as Nortel, Juniper Networks or Cisco Systems, defines their own proprietary set of rules that all commands within the CLI conform to. These rules also dictate how a user navigates through the system of commands. The semantics define what sort of operations are possible, on what sort of data these operations can be performed, and how the grammar represents these operations and data 
the symbolic meaning in the syntax. Two different CLIs may agree on either syntax or semantics, but it is only when they agree on both that they can be considered sufficiently similar to allow users to use both CLIs without needing to learn anything, as well as to enable reuse of scripts. A simple CLI will display a prompt, except a command line typed by the user terminated by the enter key, then execute the specified command and provide textual display of results or error messages. Advanced CLIs will validate, interpret and parameter expand the command line before executing the specified command, and optionally capture or redirect its output. Unlike a button or menu item in a GUI, a command line is typically self-documenting, stating exactly what the user wants done. In addition, command lines usually include many defaults that can be changed to customize the results. Useful command lines can be saved by assigning a character string or alias to represent the full command, or several commands can be grouped to perform a more complex sequence, for instance, compile the program, install it, and run it—creating a single entity, called a command procedure or script which itself can be treated as a command. These advantages mean that a user must figure out a complex command or series of commands only once, because they can be saved, to be used again. The commands given to a CLI shell are often in one of the following forms: dos something how to files, dos something how source file, destination file, dos something how output file, dos something how, dos something how, dos something how greater than output file, where dos something is, in effect, a verb. How an adverb, for example, should the command be executed, verbosely, or quietly, and to files an object or objects, typically one or more files, on which the command should act. The greater than in the third example is a redirection operator, telling the command line interpreter to send the output of the command not to its own standard output, the screen, but to the named file. This will overwrite the file. Using greater than greater than will redirect the output and append it to the file. Another redirection operator is the vertical bar, which creates a pipeline where the output of one command becomes the input to the next command. Topic: CLI and resource protection. One can modify the set of available commands by modifying which paths appear in the path environment variable. Under Unix, commands also need be marked as executable files. The directories in the path variable are searched in the order they are given. By reordering the path, one can run e.g. OS2 MDOS e, X instead of OS2 e, X, when the default is the opposite. Renaming of the executables also works, people often rename their favorite editor to edit, for example. The command line allows one to restrict available commands, such as access to advanced internal commands. The Windows CMD, X does this. Often, shareware programs will limit the range of commands, including printing a command your administrator has disabled running batch files from the prompt. Some CLIs, such as those in network routers, have a hierarchy of modes, with a different set of commands supported in each mode. The set of commands are grouped by association with security, system, interface, etc. In these systems the user might traverse through a series of sub-modes. 
For example, if the CLI had two modes called interface and system, the user might use the command interface to enter the interface mode. At this point, commands from the system mode may not be accessible until the user exits the interface mode and enters the system mode. Topic: <laughs> Command prompt A command prompt or just prompt is a sequence of one or more characters used in a command line interface to indicate readiness to accept commands. It literally prompts the user to take action. A prompt usually ends with one of the characters dollar percent hash greater than and often includes other information such as the path of the current working directory and the hostname. On many Unix and derivative systems, the prompt commonly ends in dollar or percent if the user is a normal user, but in hash if the user is a superuser. Root in Unix terminology. End users can often modify prompts. Depending on the environment, they may include colors, special characters, and other elements like variables and functions for the current time, user, shell number or working directory, in order, for instance, to make the prompt more informative or visually pleasing, to distinguish sessions on various machines, or to indicate the current level of nesting of commands. On some systems, special tokens in the definition of the prompt can be used to cause external programs to be called by the command line interpreter while displaying the prompt. In DOS's command, com and in Windows NT's cmd.x users can modify the prompt by issuing a prompt command or by directly changing the value of the corresponding percent prompt percent environment variable. The default of most modern systems, the C greater than style is obtained, for instance, with prompt $p$g. The default of older DOS systems, C greater than is obtained by just prompt, although on some systems this produces the newer C greater than style, unless used on floppy drives A, or B, on those systems prompt $n $g can be used to override the automatic default and explicitly switch to the older style. Many Unix systems feature the $PS1 variable, prompt string 1. Although other variables also may affect the prompt, depending on the shell used. In the bash shell, a prompt of the form could be set by issuing the command. In ZSH, the $RPROMPT variable controls an optional prompt on the right-hand side of the display. It is not a real prompt in that the location of text entry does not change. It is used to display information on the same line as the prompt, but write justified. In RISC OS the command prompt is a asterisk symbol, and thus OS CLI commands are often referred to as star commands. One can also access the same commands from other command lines such as the BBC basic command line by preceding the command with a asterisk. Topic: Arguments. <inaudible> 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 A command line argument or parameter is an item of information provided to a program when it is started. A program can have many command line arguments that identify sources or destinations of information, or that alter the operation of the program. When a command processor is active a program is typically invoked by typing its name followed by command line arguments if any. 
For example, in Unix and Unix-like environments, an example of a command line argument is file s is a command line argument which tells the program room to remove the file file s some programming languages, such as C, C++ and Java, allow a program to interpret the command line arguments by handling them as string parameters in the main function. Other languages, such as Python, expose these arguments as global variables. In Unix-like operating systems, a single hyphen minus by itself is usually a special value specifying that a program should handle data coming from the standard input or send data to the standard output. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Command line option. A command line option or simply option also known as a flag or switch modifies the operation of a command, the effect is determined by the command's program. Options follow the command name on the command line, separated by spaces. A space before the first option is not always required, for example dir, and dir, have the same effect in DOS list the dir commands options whereas dir, help in many versions of Unix does require the option to be preceded by at least one space and is case sensitive. The format of options varies widely between operating systems. In most cases the syntax is by convention rather than an operating system requirement, the entire command line is simply a string passed to a program, which can process it in any way the programmer wants, so long as the interpreter can tell where the command name ends and its arguments and options begin. A few representative samples of command line options, all relating to listing files in a directory, to illustrate some conventions. <laughs> Abbreviating commands In Multix, command line options and subsystem keywords may be abbreviated. This idea appears to derive from the place, I programming language, with its shortened keywords e.g., strg for stringrange and dcl for declare. For example, in the Multics forum subsystem, the long underscore subject parameter can be abbreviated lgsj. It is also common for multix commands to be abbreviated, typically corresponding to the initial letters of the words that are strung together with underscores to form command names, such as the use of did for delete underscore iacl underscore dear. In some other systems abbreviations are automatic, such as permitting enough of the first characters of a command name to uniquely identify it such as SU as an abbreviation for superuser while others may have some specific abbreviations pre-programmed e.g. MD for MKDIR in command com or user defined via batch scripts and aliases, e.g. alias MD MKDIR in TCSH. See also tab completion. Topic: <laughs> Option conventions in DOS, Windows, OS 2. On DOS, OS, 2 and Windows, different programs called from their command, com or cmd, x or internal their commands may use different syntax within the same operating system. For example, options may be indicated by either of the switch characters, or either may be allowed. See below. They may or may not be case sensitive. 
sometimes options and their arguments are run together, sometimes separated by whitespace, and sometimes by a character, typically, or equals, thus prog filename, prog f filename, prog f, filename, prog f equals filename. Some programs allow single character options to be combined, others do not. The switch FA may mean the same as FA, or it may be incorrect, or it may even be a valid but different parameter. In DOS, OS, 2 and Windows, the forward slash is most prevalent, although the hyphen minus is also sometimes used. In many versions of DOS, MS DOS, PC DOS 2, XX, and higher, all versions of Dr. DOS since 5.0, as well as PTS DOS, Embedded DOS, FreeDOS, and RX DOS, the switch character, sometimes abbreviated switcher or switchchar, to be used is defined by a value returned from a system call in 21H R equals 37H. The default character returned by this API is, but can be changed to a hyphen minus on the above mentioned systems, except for under Datalite ROM DOS and MS DOS, PC DOS 5.0 and higher, which always return, from this call unless one of many available TSRs to re enable the switcher feature is loaded. In some of these systems, MS DOS, PC DOS 2, XX, DOS Plus 2.1, Dr. DOS 7.02 and higher, PTS DOS, Embedded DOS, FreeDOS and RX DOS, the setting can also be pre-configured by a SWITCHAR directive in config, sys, General Software's Embedded DOS provides a switch command for the same purpose, whereas 4DOS allows the setting to be changed via SETDOS w, n. Under Dr. DOS, if the setting has been changed from, the first directory separator in the display of the prompt parameter $g will change to a forward slash, which is also a valid directory separator in DOS, Flexos, 4680 OS, 4690 OS, OS, 2 and Windows thereby serving as a visual clue to indicate the change. Some versions of Dr. DOS command com also support a prompt token dollar to display the current setting. Command com since Dr. DOS 7.02 also provides a pseudo environment variable named percent per percent to allow portable batch jobs to be written. Several external Dr. DOS commands additionally support an environment variable percent SWITCHAR percent to override the system setting. However, many programs are hardwired to use only, rather than retrieving the switch setting before parsing command line arguments. A very small number, mainly ports from Unix-like systems, are programmed to accept quote dash quote, even if the switch character is not set to it for example netstat and ping, supplied with Windows, will accept the option to list available options, and yet the list will specify the quote dash quote convention. Topic: Option conventions in Unix-like systems. In Unix-like systems, the ASCII minus begins options. The new and new convention is to use two hyphens, then a word, e.g., create, to identify the options used. While the old convention and still available as an option for frequently used options is to use one hyphen, then one letter, e.g., C. If one hyphen is followed by two or more letters, it may mean two options are being specified, or it may mean the second and subsequent letters are a parameter such as file name or date for the first option. 
two hyphen minus characters without following letters, may indicate that the remaining arguments should not be treated as options, which is useful for example if a file name itself begins with a hyphen, or if further arguments are meant for an inner command e.g., sudo. Double hyphen minuses are also sometimes used to prefix long options where more descriptive option names are used. This is a common feature of new software. The getopt function and program, and the getops command are usually used for parsing command line options. Unix command names, arguments and options are case sensitive except in a few examples, mainly where popular commands from other operating systems have been ported to Unix. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Option conventions in other systems. Flexos, 4680 OS and 4690 OS use. CPM typically used. Conversational Monitor System CMS, uses a single left parenthesis to separate options at the end of the command from the other arguments. For example, in the following command the options indicate that the target file should be replaced if it exists, and the date and time of the source file should be retained on the copy. Copy source file a target file B, replace OLDDATE. Data general CLI under their RDOS, AOS, etc. operating systems, as well as the version of CLI that came with the Business Basic, uses only, as the switch character, is case insensitive, and allows local switches on some arguments to control the way they are interpreted, such as MAC, ULIB, SABC $LPT, L has the global option U to the macro assembler command to append user symbols, but two local switches, one to specify lib should be skipped on pass 2 and the other to direct listing to the printer, $LPT. Topic: Built-in usage help. One of the criticisms of a CLI is the lack of cues to the user as to the available actions. In contrast, GUIs usually inform the user of available actions with menus, icons, or other visual cues. To overcome this limitation, many CLI programs display a brief summary of its valid parameters, typically when invoked with no arguments or one of H, 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 help, or help. However, entering a program name without parameters in the hope that it will display usage help can be hazardous, as some programs and scripts execute without further notice, although desirable at least for the help parameter. Programs may not support all option led in characters exemplified above. Under DOS, where the default command line option character can be changed from, to, programs may query the switcher API in order to determine the current setting. So, if a program is not hardwired to support them all, a user may need to know the current setting even to be able to reliably request help. If the switcher has been changed to, and therefore the, character is accepted as alternative path delimiter also at the DOS command line, programs may misinterpret options like, H or, H as paths rather than help parameters. However, if given as first or only parameter, most DOS programs will, by convention, accept it as request for help regardless of the current switcher setting. In some cases, different levels of help can be selected for a program. 
Some programs supporting this allow to give a verbosity level as an optional argument to the help parameter, as in H, 1, H, 2, etc., or they give just a short help on help parameters with question mark and a longer help screen for the other help options, depending on the program. Additional or more specific help on accepted parameters is sometimes available by either providing the parameter in question as an argument to the help parameter or vice versa, as in H, W or in W, assuming W would be another parameter supported by the program, in a similar fashion to the help parameter, but much less common. Some programs provide additional information about themselves, like mode, status, version, author, license, or contact information information when invoked with an about parameter like about or about since the and characters typically also serve other purposes at the command line they may not be available in all scenarios therefore they should not be the only options to access the corresponding help information if more detailed help is necessary than provided by a program's built-in internal help, many systems support a dedicated external help command, command or similar, which accepts a command name as calling parameter and will invoke an external help system. In the Dr. DOS family, typing, or, H at the command, com prompt instead of a command itself will display a dynamically generated list of available internal commands. 4DOS and NDOS support the same feature by typing, at the prompt, which is also accepted by newer versions of Dr. DOS command, com. Internal commands can be individually disabled or re enabled via SETDOS. I. In addition to this, some newer versions of Dr. DOS command, com also accept a percent command to display a list of available built-in pseudo-environment variables. Besides their purpose as quick help reference this can be used in batch jobs to query the facilities of the underlying command line processor. Topic command description syntax built-in usage help and man pages commonly employ a small syntax to describe the valid command form, angle brackets for required parameters, ping square brackets for optional parameters, mkdir p ellipses for repeated items, cp source 2, vertical bars for choice of items, netstat t u notice that the these characters have different meanings than when used directly in the shell. Angle brackets may be omitted when confusing the parameter name with a literal string is not likely. The space character In many areas of computing, but particularly in the command line, the space character can cause problems as it has two distinct and incompatible functions, as part of a command or parameter, or as a parameter or name separator. Ambiguity can be prevented either by prohibiting embedded spaces in file and directory names in the first place, for example, by substituting them with underscores underscore, or by enclosing a name with embedded spaces between quote characters or using an escape character before the space, usually a backslash, for example, long path long program name parameter 1 parameter 2 less than pre greater than slash pre greater than dot 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 is ambiguous is program name part of the program name or two parameters however long underscore path long underscore program underscore name parameter underscore 1 parameter underscore 2 
Long path, long program name, parameter own parameter to. Long path, long program name. Parameter one. Parameter two. Dot and long path long program name parameter one parameter two dot are not ambiguous unix based operating systems minimize the use of embedded spaces to minimize the need for quotes in Microsoft Windows, one often has to use quotes because embedded spaces such as in directory names are common. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Command line interpreter Although most users think of the shell as an interactive command interpreter, it is really a programming language in which each statement runs a command. Because it must satisfy both the interactive and programming aspects of command execution, it is a strange language, shaped as much by history as by design. The terms command line interpreter, abbreviated CLI, command line shell, or command language interpreter, also abbreviated CLI, are applied to computer programs designed to interpret a sequence of lines of text which may be entered by a user, read from a file or another kind of data stream. The context of interpretation is usually one of a given operating system or programming language. Command line interpreters allow users to issue various commands in a very efficient, and often terse way. This requires the user to know the names of the commands and the parameters, and the syntax of the language that is interpreted. The Unix hash, mechanism and OS.2.exTPROC command facilitate the passing of batch files to external processes. One can use these mechanisms to write specific command processes for dedicated uses, and process external data files which reside in batch files. Many graphical interfaces, such as the OS2 Presentation Manager and early versions of Microsoft Windows use command lines to call helper programs to open documents and programs. The commands are stored in the graphical shell or in files like the registry or the OS2 OS2 user.ini file. Topic: Early history. The earliest computers did not support interactive input-output devices, often relying on sense switches and lights to communicate with the computer operator. This was adequate for batch systems that ran one program at a time, often with the programmer acting as operator. This also had the advantage of low overhead, since lights and switches could be tested and set with one machine instruction. Later a single system console was added to allow the operator to communicate with the system. From the 1960s onwards, user interaction with computers was primarily by means of command line interfaces, initially on machines like the Teletype Model 33 ASR, but then on early CRT-based computer terminals such as the VT-52. All of these devices were purely text-based, with no ability to display graphic or pictures. For business application programs, text-based menus were used, but for more general interaction the command line was the interface. 
Around 1964 Louis Puzin introduced the concept and the name shell in Multics, building on earlier, simpler facilities in the compatible time-sharing system CTSS. .From the early 1970s the Unix operating system adapted the concept of a powerful command line environment, and introduced the ability to pipe the output of one command in as input to another. Unix also had the capability to save and rerun strings of commands as shell scripts, which acted like custom commands. The command line was also the main interface for the early home computers such as the Commodore PET, Apple II, and BBC Micro, almost always in the form of a basic interpreter. When more powerful business-oriented microcomputers arrived with CPM and later DOS computers such as the IBM PC, the command line began to borrow some of the syntax and features of the Unix shells such as globbing and piping of output. The command line was first seriously challenged by the Park GUI approach used in the 1983 Apple Lisa and the 1984 Apple Macintosh. A few computer users used GUIs such as Geos and Windows 3.1 but the majority of IBM PC users did not replace the command, COM shell with a GUI until Windows 95 was released in 1995. <laughs> Modern usage as an operating system shell While most non-expert computer users now use a GUI almost exclusively, more advanced users have access to powerful command line environments. The default VAX BMS command shell, using the DCL language, has been ported to Windows systems at least three times, including PC DCL and Accela 8 DCL Lite. Unix command shells have been ported to VMS and DOS, Windows 95 and Windows NT types of operating systems. Command, COM and Windows NT CMD.X have been ported to Windows CE and presumably works on Microsoft Windows NT Embedded 4.0. Windows Resource Kit and Windows Services for Unix include Corn and the Born shells along with a Perl interpreter Services of Unix contains Active State Active Perl in later versions and Interix for versions 1 and 2 and the shell compiled by Microsoft. IBM OS 2 has the CMD.x processor. This copies the command, com commands, with extensions to REXX, CMD.X and command, com are part of the Windows NT stream of operating systems. Yet another CMD.X is a stripped-down shell for Windows CE 3.0. An MS-DOS type interpreter called PocketDOS has been ported to Windows CE machines. The most recent release is almost identical to MS-DOS 6.22 and can also run Windows 1, 2, and 3.0, QBasic and other development tools, 4NT and 4DOS. The latest release includes several shells, namely MS-DOS 6.22, PC-DOS 7, Dr-DOS 3, XX, and others. Pocket Console is a Windows NT 4.0 shell for Windows CE that is much like 4NT. Windows users have a CLI environment named Windows Command Prompt, which might use the C script interface to alternate programs. PowerShell provides a command line interface, but its applets are not written in shell script. 
Implementations of the Unix shell are also available as part of the POSIX subsystem, Sigwin, MKS Toolkit, UWIN, Hamilton C shell and other software packages. Available shells for these interoperability tools include CSH, KSH, SH, Bash, RSH, TCLSH and less commonly ZSH, PSH, Command, COM, 4 DOS, Windows NT CMD. X, 4 NT, TCC, and OS 2 CMD. X, 4 OS 2, and others based on AMA enhanced shells, which can be a replacement for the native shell or a means of enhancement of the default shell. Implementations of PHP have a shell for interactive use called PHP CLI. Standard TCL, TK has two interactive shells, TCLSH and WISH, the latter being the GUI version. Python, Ruby, Lua, XLNT, and other interpreters also have command shells for interactive use. FreeBSD uses TCSH as its default interactive shell for the superuser. Apple MacOS and many Linux distributions have the Bash implementation of the Unix shell. Early versions of MacOS used TCSH as the default shell. Embedded Linux, and other embedded Unix-like devices often use the ASH implementation of the Unix shell, as part of BusyBox. Android uses the MKSH shell, which replaces a shell derived from ASH that was used in older Android versions, supplemented with commands from the separate toolbox binary. Routers with Cisco IOS, Junos and many others are commonly configured from the command line. Topic: <laughs> Scripting. Most command line interpreters support scripting to various extents. They are, after all, interpreters of an interpreted programming language, albeit in many cases the language is unique to the particular command line interpreter. They will interpret scripts, variously termed shell scripts or batch files, written in the language that they interpret. Some command line interpreters also incorporate the interpreter engines of other languages, such as REXX, in addition to their own, allowing the executing of scripts, in those languages, directly within the command line interpreter itself. Conversely, scripting programming languages, in particular those with an eval function such as REXX, Perl, Python, Ruby or Jython, can be used to implement command line interpreters and filters. For a few operating systems, most notably DOS, such a command interpreter provides a more flexible command line interface than the one supplied. In other cases, such a command interpreter can present a highly customized user interface employing the user interface and input-output facilities of the language. Other command line interfaces The command line provides an interface between programs as well as the user. In this sense, a command line is an alternative to a dialog box. Editors and databases present a command line, in which alternate command processes might run. On the other hand, one might have options on the command line, which opens a dialog box. The latest version of Take Command has this feature. DBase used a dialog box to construct command lines, which could be further edited before use. 
Programs like BASIC, DISC PART, EDLIN, and QBASIC all provide command line interfaces, some of which use the system shell. BASIC is modeled on the default interface for 8 bit Intel computers. Calculators can be run as command line or dialog interfaces. Emacs provides a command line interface in the form of its minibuffer. Commands and arguments can be entered using Emacs standard text editing support, and output is displayed in another buffer. There are a number of text mode games, like Adventure or King's Quest 1-3, which relied on the user typing commands at the bottom of the screen. One controls the character by typing commands like get ring, or look. The program returns a text which describes how the character sees it, or makes the action happen. The text adventure The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, a piece of interactive fiction based on Douglas Adams' book of the same name, is a teletype-style command line game. The most notable of these interfaces is the standard streams interface, which allows the output of one command to be passed to the input of another. Text files can serve either purpose as well. This provides the interfaces of piping, filters and redirection. Under Unix, devices are files too, so the normal type of file for the shell used for stdin, stdout and stdare is a tty device file. Another command line interface allows a shell program to launch helper programs, either to launch documents or start a program. The command is processed internally by the shell, and then passed on to another program to launch the document. The graphical interface of Windows and OS 2 rely heavily on command lines passed through to other programs, console or graphical, which then usually process the command line without presenting a user console. Programs like the OS2E editor and some other IBM editors can process command lines normally meant for the shell, the output being placed directly in the document window. A web browser's URL input field can be used as a command line. It can be used to launch web apps, access browser configuration, as well as perform a search. Google, which has been called, the command line of the Internet, will perform a domain-specific search when it detects search parameters in a known format. This functionality is present whether the search is triggered from a browser field or on Google's website. Topic. See also Comparison of command shells List of command line interpreters Orthodox file manager, also known as command-based file manager Batch processing Batch file Console application Interpreter directive Read a val print loop Shell computing Scripting language Shell script Clig Computer terminal Terminal emulator Run command Graphical user interface section comparison to other interfaces In the beginning was the command line natural user interface equals equals notes <laughs>